Bleach is an influential title in the world of anime and has hooked millions of fans around the globe for years. After ending in 2012, the popular anime series is finally returning. So, for new fans who have no idea what the story is about, and old ones who just need a little reminder before we kick things off with the Thousand Year Blood War arc, today's video is for you. We are going to talk about everything that happened in Bleach up to the Thousand Year Blood War. So, without further ado, let's get it. Bleach was created in the early 2000s by mangaka Tait Kubo. The original Bleach manga has been published from August 7, 2001 until August 22, 2016. Bleach first aired on October 5th, 2004 in Japan and continued until March 27, 2012, with a total of 366 episodes. Cartoon Network's Adult Swim began airing Bleach in the United States on September 9, 2006 and continued until November 2014, also beginning to air in Canada the same week on YTV. The first arc is known as the Substitute Shinigami arc. Ichigo Kurosaki is a 15-year-old teenager with an unwanted talent for seeing spirits. When a mysterious woman named Rukia is injured by a hollow that attacks Ichigo's home, Ichigo is forced to temporarily take her Shinigami powers to defeat the hollow. The next day, Rukia shows up at Ichigo's school and tells him that she has lost all of her powers and Ichigo must take her place as Karakura Town's Shinigami, aka Substitute Soul Reaper, while she recovers. Ichigo's spiritual power as a Shinigami is surprisingly large, attracting hungry hollows and even affecting nearby humans by awakening any spiritual powers they possess. His powers also attract an enemy of another type, Uryu Ishida, one of the few remaining Quincy's, a race of spiritually empowered humans who were butchered by the Shinigami long ago. During this time, Chad and Orihime, two of Ichigo's friends, have their own spiritual abilities awakened when they're attacked by hollows, and eventually Uryu and Ichigo join sides to drive off the hollows. Meanwhile, Rukia's superiors in Soul Society send two elite Shinigami, Renji and her brother Byakuya, to arrest her. Ichigo tries to stop the arrest, but Byakuya strips him of his Shinigami powers. Then Rukia is taken to Soul Society, where she is put on death row. Ichigo meets a mysterious shopkeeper named Urahara, who tells him he has a way to recover his powers and save Rukia. Ichigo must die, and then find the Shinigami powers hidden within his soul before he becomes a hollow. Ichigo narrowly succeeds in this endeavor, but emerges from the training stronger than he ever was before. Ichigo, Chad, Orihime, and Uryu then set off for Soul Society, led by one of Urahara's friends, a talking cat named Yorichi. This leads us to the Soul Society arc. Yorichi takes the group to the home of her old friend, Kukaku Shiba, who agrees to fire them into Saratai using a cannon. The cannon is a partial success, and the gang along with Yorichi's brother, Ganju, lands in the Soul Society citadel called Saratai, albeit with its members split up. Meanwhile, Ichigo encounters Lieutenant Renji Abarai. Ichigo defeats him, alarming the Shinigami command enough that the captains themselves are sent out to pursue them. Another captain, Sosuke Aizen, is found brutally murdered the next morning, sparking an internal conflict amongst the Shinigami, several of whom suspect each other of the murder. As they approach Rukia's prison, Ichigo is confronted by Kimpachi Zaraki, a bloodthirsty captain with a reputation for being unbeatable. Ichigo sends Ganju off to break Rukia out of jail, while he duels Kimpachi alone. Their fight ends in a draw. After the fight, Ichigo is healed by Yorichi, who then reveals that she is not a cat, but a woman, and that she and Urahara are both actually ex-Shinigami. Ganju reaches Rukia's prison, but is stopped by Byakuya. Ichigo comes flying to the rescue, and a brief battle takes place. But Yorichi arrives on the scene and retreats with Ichigo. Yorichi begins to train him to use his Bankai, a special technique used by the Soul Reapers to unlock the most powerful form of their weapons known as Zanpakuto. Renji later joins to train with them as well, bringing news that Rukia's execution date has changed again. Meanwhile, Shinigami officers are fighting throughout Serate. Shinigami Captain Toshiro Hitsugaya confronts fellow Captain Gin Ichimaru, whom Hitsugaya has believes to have killed Aizen, and battles him. Elsewhere, Renji attempts to rescue Rukia, but is stopped by Byakuya. Renji, despite using his newly acquired Bankai, is defeated by Byakuya. Finally, Rukia's execution begins, but she is saved by Ichigo. However, before they can escape, 
is confronted by Byakuya. Ichigo was about to die in the battle, but a mysterious mask appears and takes control of him and attacks Byakuya with more powerful techniques. Ichigo then manages to retake control of himself in the battle. Using his Bankai, Ichigo manages to battle Byakuya on even footing and narrowly defeats him. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Captain Aizen is still alive and is the mastermind behind all of the chaos that is happening in Soul Society, betraying the Soul Society in order to obtain a special orb called the Hogyoku that allows Shinigami and Hollows to combine powers which has been hidden in Rukia all this time. Aizen extracts the Hogyoku from Rukia and escapes to Waco Mundo, the world of Hollows. Ichigo and his friends then return to the real world, and this leads us to the Arankar arc. This arc starts off with Shinji, who is introduced as a transfer student in Ichigo's school, but his true motive is to recruit Ichigo into the Vizard, a group of Shinigami who have gained hollow powers. Soon after that, two human-like hollows with physical traits similar to that of Shinigami, known as Arankars, named Yami and Ukuyora, appear in Karakura Town. Yami begins draining all of the surrounding souls. Ichigo arrives in time to confront them, but his inner hollow demands that Ichigo switches with him, sinisterly stating that he would be able to finish them off with ease. Ichigo, however, denies this request, causing his inner hollow to interfere. His inner hollow then prevents him from being able to fight, and Ichigo is severely beaten until Urahara and Yorichi arrive to rescue him. Later, multiple Shinigami from the Soul Society are dispatched to Karakura Town and encounter another Rankar named Grimjao. Ichigo fights Grimjao, but the battle is then abruptly ended by one of Aizen's accomplices, Kaname Tozen, who orders Grimjao to return to Waco Mundo for violating his orders. After this, Ichigo realizes he can no longer fight adequately with his inner hollow constantly trying to take control of his body, and he goes to train with the visor. It is revealed that Aizen's true intention is to kill everyone in the enriched spirit zone of Karakura Town to create the Oaken, so that Aizen can overthrow the Soul King. The group decides to prepare to go to Waco Mundo, but the Arankars ambush them, leading Ichigo to use his newly acquired Hollow Mask transformation. Meanwhile, Orihime is kidnapped by Ukuyora. Immediately upon entering Waco Mundo, Ichigo, Chad, and Uryu find themselves in an underground maze full of traps and guarded by Arankar, and they use their newly awakened powers to fight their way through. They begin going towards Las Noches, the capital of Waco Mundo, and the fortress of Aizen, guarded by his mighty Espada. The group splits up, and Ichigo is confronted by Ukuyora. Even after using his most powerful attacks, Ichigo proves to be no match for Ukuyora. However, Ichigo refuses to give up, believing that Ukuyora is the strongest Espada. But Ukuyora reveals that he is only the fourth strongest and stabs Ichigo in the chest. Grimchao then brings Orihime to Ichigo, wanting him healed so he may have his own fight with him. Before she can finish her work, however, Ukuyora arrives. Grimjao then traps Ukuyora in an alternate dimension, which will take him several hours to escape. Once Ichigo is healed, his battle with Grimjao begins. Ichigo using his Bankai and Hollow Mask, and Grimjao, now in his Resurrect Shawn form, face off in a destructive battle across Las Noches, while Ichigo summons the last of his strength, launching the finishing blow to Grimjao. However, the strongest Arankar, Coyote Stark, recaptures Orihime and returns her to Aizen, who departs for the human world to destroy Karakura Town. Meanwhile, the Shinigami captains have created a copy known as Fake Karakura Town to delay Aizen's forces. Back in Las Noches, Ukiora Cypher breaks free from Grimjao's trap, and Ichigo and him begin to fight. After a number of deadly attacks, Ichigo is seemingly killed by Ukiora, but comes back to life fully possessed by his hollow and kills Ukiora in a blind rage, nearly losing his humanity. Back in Karakura Town, the captains are holding off all of Aizen's forces until Ichigo arrives to begin the final showdown with Aizen. Aizen, however, reveals he is fused with the Hogyoku, making him insanely stronger than Ichigo. It is then revealed that the spirit in Ichigo's sword that we believe to be known as Zangetsu for the duration of the series was actually the manifestation of his Quincy powers passed down from his deceased mother. And the White Hollow that had been trying to take over Ichigo was the true form of Zangetsu. These two spirits merge, and Ichigo masters the final Getsuga Tensho. Back in Karakura Town, Aizen's subordinate Gin turns on him, and Ichigo arrives with his newfound power. Using the final Getsuga Tensho, Ichigo sacrifices all of his Soul Reaver powers to mortally weaken Aizen, 
Urahara then delivers the final blow with a technique that seals Aizen in an impenetrable prison. This brings us to the Lost Substitute Shinigami arc, aka the Fullbring arc. Over a year later, Ichigo remains powerless as he enters his third year of high school. He eventually crosses paths with Kujo Ginjo. Ginjo offers Ichigo a way to regain his power. In the course of regaining his powers, Ichigo gains a new ability called Fullbring, which he uses to mimic his abilities as a Shinigami. As he learns to control his power, Ichigo meets a former member of Ginjo's group, Execution, and it is revealed that Kujo, as well as the group, actually have much darker plans than they revealed as they plan to steal Ichigo's powers. After a final confrontation, Ichigo's powers are fully restored, and this is the last arc before the Thousand Year Blood War takes place. And that concludes Bleach. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss another video. Until next time, peace.